Say the weird thing. People are desperately seeking realness. All right, I'll say the word thing. Um, in 2024, you're going to find that a lot of people online, content creators, YouTubers, TikTokers, will create fake scenarios to get your um, watch time, basically to help themselves to a paycheck. Because remember, every time you watch their videos, they're getting views, they're getting clicks, they're getting likes, and they are coming up in their game. They're going to become more popular more prominent on these platforms and you gave them the views sometimes you even champion them or you cheer them on in the comments let me give you an example of this i came across a cute video of a guy sitting in a car talking about how he met this little girl when he was very young on a cruise ship fell in love with her and just wanted to basically reach out and contact her he did however manage to find the girl with the help of people here on tiktok now, while that video was cute and I thought it was sincere as hell because the girl that he was looking for herself, she didn't have any followers. She was somebody that's not on this platform. She's not looking for attention and seemed like a normal girl. It all checks out fine for me. And I'm sure like many of you, you look out and you say, I'm so happy he found somebody he was truly interested in and I hope that they live happily ever after. But then there are some instances where you're kind of skeptical because it just seems too far-fetched. Like for instance, when New Yorkers were getting punched in the face, women specifically were getting punched in the face, and it all happened to be women that were on these major platforms with hundreds of thousands of followers already. So when I saw this video and I saw that this person had over 100,000 followers, and came up with a cute story about how he met some girl, the love of his life in Target. And that girl also had hundreds of, well, 100,000 and up followers. I started saying, I don't know if I really buy this because it just seems too far-fetched that both of them so happen to be TikTokers that already have quite a huge following. So you see, the weird thing for me is gonna be whether or not to trust people on the internet and to really buy into what they're saying. Because a lot of times people are just chasing clout. 